Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm in Sheffield today at the library, up Attercliffe on Leeds Road. I'm joined by boxing promoter, trainer and manager and matchmaker, the one and only Mr Ron Lyle. How are you doing Dennis? And I don't want to miss a thing. How are you doing Russ? I'm alright mate, uh, how are you? Rachel, I was born literally quarter of the, not even, what, 400 yards from here. On Stradbrook? No, Attercliffe. Oh, oh, is that where you were born? Attercliffe. North Street, Attercliffe. Yeah. And my dad, and well, my mum and dad used to take me to baths next door here, the Attercliffe Baths. Oh, is that where the baths are over there? Yeah, that's that building there, and that's, that was Don Valley Stadium. This is the. the Before you were on Stradbrook, weren't you? Yeah. I moved there when I, when I was three years old, yeah. And then I spent a lot of my time on the Arbathorn in Sheffield and Benham. So which part is Clinton from then? Uh, Mosborough, Westfield area. How far is that from there then? Uh, from where? From where you were knocked about on Stradbrook and that then? About three miles from like that. Oh, so that's how you met them, through being in the area? Yeah, yeah, because I moved to Woodhouse and that, and he lived probably about a mile away. So you bought, it's your first house that you bought, isn't it, Woodhouse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Still got that? Yeah. Still got first penny your dad gives you, Dennis. <laughs> My dad gave me. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> so, it went, so, it wasn't easy, but we, uh, there's people had it harder than me, but there's people definitely had it a lot easier than me. Shout out to Terry from London. Terry, we'll be seeing you. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's good to see you, Terry. Yeah, he's coming to the show, isn't he? July 5th, Terry. Oh, I look forward to seeing him, yeah. Right, a lot's gone on, Dennis, since we last had a chat. Uh, what do you think to Tyson Fury's win over Tom Swartz? Um, I thought he was impressive, and I think he highly conducts himself. Everything about it is a promote, was a promoter's dream. Um, yeah. yeah, you can nitpick if you want. Uh, Harry throws some of his shots and stuff like that. Tyson is the real deal. He's like a promoter's dream. He's he's got polish about him as regards like he doesn't. He had, well, recently he hasn't shot himself in the foot with some of the antics and stuff he comes out with. Um, but look, he's a talent. He's a talent, and he just wants to be loved, Tyson, doesn't he? Jack? I think so, and, and the Yanks will love him because that bit of singing bit and stuff like that is a bit eccentric. Um, but the kid can fight. You can't take that away from him. The kid can fight, and and he's and he's and he's, and he's, and he's top quality. Yeah. What did you think to the uh, the overall show, Dennis? The uh, the Bob Arum show overall uh, with Tyson. What do you think? No, it, it, there's been better shows, Russ, but yeah. uh, it, it, it were about Tyson, and you know, he did the Apollo Creed thing with the Rocky type movie, and, yeah. um, and it, it's good TV. Tyson's good TV, and you, you, no matter what you think, uh, Tyson is good TV, he's a talented kid, and uh, for me, he's, he's good for boxing, and uh, um, obviously, I'm I'm big pal with Peter, because um, I know Peter better than any 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 of Furies, uh, the yeah. Furies, and uh, obviously I'm, I'm good friends. I haven't seen him for a while, uh, and uh, I want you to do really well because I like you. I think he's a lovely, lovely fella, um, and uh, he got a bit of a, a setback in Bulgaria when we, when we were out. We were, there. we were closer to ring than anybody, weren't we? Yeah, but, Sat next uh, to Ron Lewis. I think we could have done a better job there, and, and the circumstances, but. You don't lose, you learn, and I think you will learn so much from that and Peter, where it will be invaluable, the experience, to take him on to the next time when he fights for a world title, uh, he wins it, and hopefully keeps hold of the title for a long time. We we like Fraser Clark, don't we? Who's at the EIS, oh, yeah. don't we? Yeah, Fraser, yeah. don't we? Yeah, yeah. Security for uh, Clifton Mo Clifton uh, Mitchell. Mitchell. Right. Now we like Fraser, but he's still an amateur and he's 28 in a couple of weeks. Yeah. You, he's 24. Yeah, yeah. So there's plenty of time for you in the There's plenty of time, but I don't agree with the, 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 
just um, staying amateur just for the sake of it. Yeah. Although they are on a good deal, aren't they? They're on a yeah, good deal. So on a good deal like, yeah. They are on a good deal, but I think Fraser should be looking to turn pro in the next twelve months. Yeah, yeah. He's got. Uh, it's after Olympics, after next Olympics next year, and that's when the, the Olympics next year. That's when it's all going to be you and then Ed, Eddie and Frank are going to be the starters orders. And the starters orders, well. And it's got a little a, bit different to last time you were going after Olympians, wasn't it, Dennis? In 08? In the 08, I've got more training in my gym, I bought more watches, and um, I've got Billy Joe. Price. Yeah, Billy Joe. We're after right, Billy Joe so between me and Tony Frank Jeffries. And I'd signed Tony Jeffries and I'd signed David Price, and then I'd, I thought I got this little TV deal and uh, it fell through, so we had to move on. But um, I still got decent relationships with all the kids. I like David Price, yeah. don't you Dennis? I like him as a kid, yeah. I think he's a nice, uh, a good man. Uh, good person, isn't he David Price? I think so. I mean, I hit it off with him, so like, I, I, I'd like to think that I could have steered his career uh, on a better path than what, it, what it's gone on. And uh, because I think I've got a bit of a, a connection with him and uh, uh, I think he'd have done a lot better with me. Right, so Tyson's beat Tom Swartz, he did what he had to do, didn't he? He got him out early, he had to put a show on, didn't he, with that kind of opponent, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, he's had his gimme fight over there, hasn't he? Yeah, you can't say he's a gimme that kid were undefeated, so yeah. you might look and say, well, who's he beat? But unless he's been beat, you can't say he's found his level. So I, yeah. I, I, I won't slag that opponent off. Um, I think it's. You won't agree with me, will you? No, I don't. Um, but I, I think if you're saying you're lineal champion at world, you've got to fight somebody a bit better than Tom Swartz. Well, right. And then look at the fighters that Cassius Clay and Muhammad Ali fought. They yeah. weren't all like Joe Frazier and George Foreman's, were they? No. So, you know, if he's fighting an up and comer like a Jerry Quarry or whoever who's a. Um, uh, undefeated kid coming up, you go, all right, then I'll, 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 I'll test myself on this undefeated kid. I don't know how good he is. He don't know how good he is because he hasn't been beat. Yeah. Let me let me do a number on him. Now, the next one or the one after, he's got to be fighting one of the top two or three. Yeah. And Joshua, he's tied up. Ruiz, Ruiz, Ruiz or they're tied up, aren't they? Now? Oh, Wilder. Wilder. Ruiz is, yeah. Wilder's tied up with Ortiz. Mm -hmm. What about the one after? Dillian White. Well, Dillian White, he's knocking on the door, Dillian. I think um, Dillian's like knocking on the door. Yeah, I like Dillian. I think he's Good people around him, aren't he? I like uh, what he brings to the table, and I think he's like knocking on the door. Um, he's always in good fights, isn't he? He's always in good fights. So I'd, 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 you've always got to now and again give Dillian a shot. Yeah, had his shot, has he, yeah? At a world title, has he? Uh, no, but um, he's knocking on the door. I think he's just about earned his right to fight for a world title. If they get Schwartz and Ortiz and other people shots at a world title, uh, Dillian Or oh, shots at big fights, you mean? Yeah, yeah. At big fights. Uh, you've, got, you've got to give uh, Dillian a shot now. What do you think, Dennis, to Amir Khan's show at Jeddah on Channel 5 yeah. next month? Well, it's like a. Um, a bit of an homecoming for a minute. I mean, it's, it's a, a very wealthy state, Saudi Arabia, and obviously somebody's doing their own work there and put a lot of spare work in into making a yeah. a major event, bringing an, a major event with the. Uh, I've seen been chipping away over there for a couple of years now, haven't yeah. it? He's, he's a trier, uh, isn't he? He's a trier. So hopefully it comes off and it gives people yeah. options to um, to get on a big stage where they're going to get paid well. And uh, we'll get it televised back here, hopefully. Channel 5. Channel 5, so... It, uh, excuse me. It, um, it, it, it adds another dimension to boxing. So boxing's flying at the moment, I think. So everybody's rich, then, yeah. 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 So it's, but all we hear about is this football. Yeah. Let's get more and more boxing out here and keep other people. I mean, it's not easy. The batting's not easy. The world's... The landscape's changed to what it was. You know, the, the matches are more difficult, so you end up going and bringing yeah, foreigners in, yeah, in yeah, and you don't sometimes don't know what you're getting, which is a good thing yeah. and a bad thing sometimes, because if you push your kid too quickly before he's ready, then you could come unstuck, but, you know, sometimes you've got to, you've got to bite a bullet and say, look, let, let, let me test one of our kids, 
and he wants to test himself and see where he's at on the world stage or domestically or European level. So some now and again you've got to do that. What do you think to uh, Amir Khan's opponent, Dennis? What do you think? I just think it's a, a cash out. I think he's getting out of boxing himself. You might be right. You might be right, but he's been a talent. I think there's one, at least one more big fight left in him. Um, it's crazy that they haven't made the Kell Brook fight happen. I've tried to help make that happen uh, on two or three occasions. Um, and it's just a shame that it's not happened because that's the biggest fight out there for the pair of them. It has been for two or three years, three, four, five years, it's been the biggest fight out here. Uh, and it's a shame that it doesn't happen, and I think it's more on the side of Amir that it doesn't happen rather than Kel Brook. At first, I thought it was Kel Brook, and I think, it, I think to a degree, it is. Uh, Kel Brook's not done himself any favours on the people around him, but I don't think Amir were on springs to fight Kel. Um, and it's a shame because I, I think it's a great fight, or it has been a great fight. It's lost its bit of spark a little bit now, but um, it's, a shame, it's a shame that fight's never happened. What do you think about the rumours that Eddie Earn has pulled out of this yeah. Jeddah show that were going to be screened on Sky? That they've pulled out because uh, they're not happy with how they've been checked by Amir Khan regarding. The Kelbrook situation and Amir Khan's deals run out with Matchroom and things like that. Do you think it's dead he's done that? The fact that he wouldn't have a deal with them for the Brook fight? Do you think it's something to do with that, Dennis? Because the card, I know it's had a lot of hammer today on social media. Yui's opponent isn't that bad for you, is it really? I think so. I mean, when I saw it, Samuel Peters is like being a former world champion. Former isn't it? WBC world so champion. Like, how can you, how can you not that? Like, He's beat more world champions than Tyson Fury in Bellevue. Exactly, so I, I, I can't really, I can't really know. He's not won a belt above British, so isn't that a good fight for him? I think so. I mean, so, what, what, is the guy, the guy George Foreman won, won a world title at 50, didn't he? So 46, 45. Uh, well, nearly, nearly as old as you. Well, Samuel Peters, younger than Povetkin. Yeah. And he's ranked higher than Tom Swartz. Ten places higher. Sure. And he's got a better record than Tom Swartz. So what's the problem with what's that? What's the problem? I don't know, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. For you, I think that's a good fight. He's on it, comeback train, on it. The first one, that Norad fight, that won't be good, boy. No. We, we can't agree with that, can we? But we, do we think Samuel Peters is a good fight for you? I think so. I think so. Good international yeah. fight. I think it's uh, nothing wrong with that. I think Peter and Mix might still be. Accordingly, I think it's 24 year old, you and it's right. I think it's the right fight at the right, right time, yeah. and that's what so boxing's all about. Right. So, but not everybody can be right about everything, can we? Yeah, you me. Uh, boxing's about opinions, no, it is, Russ, because you might see something that I don't see. I don't know it all. You yeah. might tell me something. You've got Terry, who's a very good uh, pundit, and I, and I do value his opinion. If Peter told me something, I value his opinion, and, and I'm sure he does mine. Um, so we've all got opinions, and um, boxers about opinions, and we, one thing's for sure, we're not all right all the time. Yeah. Now, uh, but I think you will probably beat him on points or late stop if you do. I think. Uh, I think it'd be a, a points decision. Points decision for you. Yeah. And he's going to obviously learn about how to fight in a hot country. Because there could be many more fights for Yui out there yeah, soon, exactly. couldn't there? It's, it's beginning to creep it's a genuine in. Genuine heavyweight, and genuine everywhere. And yeah. Look, he only just lost on a split, a split yeah. with his partner. Split, split, split or a split? split. No, I think it was a mandatory decision, wasn't it, against Parker? Yeah, we had him winning, didn't we? That didn't we? I thought you nicked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was surprised. Though, well, that was two years ago, Parker. Now, fight. You imagine if he if he wins that. Us. If he wins that, the landscape's changed, hasn't it? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peter's in the, with his son, he's in, he's in the pole position. They're the men of the moment. It were a gamble and didn't quite pay off. And, he, and, uh, and they tried to put it right with a pool of fight, which you obviously helped them get involved with. Yeah. So, yeah. they tried to put it right with that. He got cut early, but he'd had to cut his spar, and that was a gamble. The, that, that fight should have been put back. Yeah, that yeah, cut, yeah. when I looked at it, it was a bad cut. Uh, and I thought, I hope he, I hope he 
and don't also, go, no. and it would act bad. It, it opened up straight away. So all his game plan went out of the window. That weren't you in that night, um, and uh, people were there for taking mm. normal. When I've seen UA at his best, I think he scores pure. Scores him, yeah. I think so. They I might get a rematch down the line. I think pure left will have gone by then. Yeah? Yeah, I think he'll have come and gone. I if he fights for a world title, and then he'll have gone, he'll get his pay there, then the UA will still be shopping his tools. And he always got bags of time, on not he? Yeah, and he'll just get he'll get to be a better fighter if if to do the job right. I mean, they're talking about Joe Joyce, you know, coming strong and all that. He's nine years older than you. Exactly. So no rushes the for you. It talks to you. Uh, what do you think about me saying to Peter Fury when we got off at the plane, Peter? If it, we were talking boxing, as you know, and I said, Peter, why don't you just? Give you it, get you with ten wins, get him into a routine, fight everywhere you can, get as much experience picked up, get a few quid along the way, try a few different styles. Do you think that's a good idea what I had? I think uh, in an ideal world, yeah. Yeah. I think in an ideal world, I think that's... Uh, Landscape will change when you is 27, yeah, won't it? I think it? that's a good idea, but I, 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 you know... I, Would you do that, Dennis, if you would have had you it? Um, I'm not saying ten, but I might, I might just... Five. Get a few, yeah, do, do maybe five fights and uh, five wins in, in different parts of the world. But obviously, it costs different money. styles, different style. Uh, that UA, one thing's for sure, you will, you will become a better fighter with that experience. Yeah. yeah.